Good morning, beautifuls. It is Sunday, October 20th. <clears throat> Excuse me. It is minus one out here currently. Minus one Celsius. A little bit of ice. <laughs> On things. Here we are. Oh, it's a good day. It's a very good day. So, let's start off with a moment of beauty. It's a glorious glorious Sunday morning not very many clouds in the sky sun is coming out the snow I think is all gone um, and here we are it's a beautiful morning it is an absolutely gorgeous morning actually I'm wearing a toque and it's too hot I just did my chicken chores and the ladies are doing lovely as always and <laughs> There is a slight frost on the ground today. So good morning. Happy Sunday. Do you see what I see? I see a shadow that gets to wave to everybody. Hello. Good morning. Um, <laughs> okay, so it's a beautiful morning. I am going to babble about gratitude. Get the, wor the little birdies their water free. I'm going to babble about gratitude. I had an experience last night. And, um, gratitude and pride. Let's talk about that. Um, <laughs> so last night was my son's pre wedding social, which means that they got to have a huge party to raise funds for the wedding. And, um, it's just, it's a thing that happens in Manitoba and Saskatchewan. It's called a pre-wedding social, and you like you get together, everybody drinks, eats at like 10 o'clock or midnight, has a good time, <laughs> and then we're good, right? So the kids asked me if I could bartend, which I don't have a problem with. I'm a good bartender. I have my license. It's good. Good morning, Featherstone. Um, I think I need to move Featherstone. I like looking at him out the window, but you can't see him. Um, so they had a live band come in last night, and it was a really good time. The food went over well. The music was decent. Um, oops. I've never heard of this man before, Ernest Moines. Um, he's very, he's the Elvis of the North, I guess. He's very popular. He's got a big, big following of the ladies. He's a little suave, and had all the cookums. Getting excited. Cookum is grandma. Like an, an elder, a grandma. And I believe it's an Ojibwe. So that's like his taglines. Tell the Cookums I'm coming. So he's that kind of a very good performer. The band was great. Um, holy crap, can my kid throw a party? My kids. Um, it was awesome working with the bride to be's mom. And getting to know her a little bit better. The kids have been together for like two years. And my gratitude here is this young lady that my son is marrying has been through him through his hardest time in his life so far. She stuck by his side through his really bad depression phase. Um, so I'm so grateful for her. I am so grateful for her. So... In ways that she is going to be able to love him in the ways that he needs to be loved. He is going to love her fiercely. He does. He really does. And uh, it was just really great last night to be able to sit back. Well, it's not that I was sitting back. We were busy. Um, and watch... My young man blossom into the young man that he is becoming. So they got to dance last night to the live band. Their little song. And I'm out there videoing it, just bawling my face off. But my kid has introduced me. I went to my first social last night. And it was his. And he kept coming up to me and he's like, Mom... I'm so happy you're bartending my social. I can't believe this. This is awesome. And I used to work in a bar for a very long time. So, like, my kids grew up in the industry. 
And holy crap, can they throw a party. So I'm just really grateful that everything worked out last night how it should. And he, 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 there was very little drama, just a little bit at the end of the night. We had one problem with, we had a couple of problems with a specific person who was underage that wasn't allowed to be in there and they'd been kicked out like three times. Um, but it was a really great experience. It was, it was really fantastic. We were in a different town, so <laughs> there is that. And just to experience live music last night, it just revitalizes your soul. There's something about music, the frequency, the beats. Oh, those geese. Let's go look in the backyard. No. <laughs> The frequency, the beats, the feelings, the emotions that all go behind music. I love absorbing that energy out. I love sharing that energy. Um, so yeah, like last night was a sober night for us because we were working. Getting, we got home like, oh, I don't know, 1.30? Almost 2? Yeah, let's go look in the backyard. There you go. Can't really see them, but there's <laughs> flocks over there. So yeah, almost 2 o'clock in the morning, and here's my body's natural rhythm going, Oh, your chickens need tended to. You hear them all over there. The tablet doesn't pick it up that well. <laughs> Sometimes when a flock of geese come in, all you can see is like this dark swarm coming, and then the sound of the geese, it's, it's very exciting, actually. So yes, back to the gratitude. Um, the night ended with a, just a little bit of drama. But nothing that was like extreme so it was really 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 awesome to be there last night and I'm just really grateful for the opportunities that these kids have I'm really grateful for the life that they have ahead of them and I'm really grateful to be a part of that and we're <laughs> uh, the bride-to-be was a little hammered last night um, <laughs> she's just like, Shar, I love you. And I'm like, I love you too. <laughs> and then they're, um, all her friends right now have babies or are pregnant. And so she's like, everybody's got babies. And I'm like, you guys just do that whenever you're ready. You have babies whenever you are ready. Don't feel pressured. Don't be pressured by me. Don't be pressured by your mom. Don't be pressured by your friends. And the same is with my other son. He and his wife have a game plan, and they're not being pressured into the baby game. So while I am so freaking, and I told them last night, I'm like, you guys have all the babies. You got babies. We'll take care of babies. Your mom can have babies. We'll have babies. We got love for all the babies. And her mom just kind of giggled at me, and I'm like, I am so looking forward to being a grandma. It is my birthday next week, and I don't even care about the number. But I am so looking forward to being a grandma. <laughs> so that is my overwhelming moment of gratitude today. It's just everything is wonderful. And I'm grateful for that. So there is a huge, huge, huge babble. Oh, and by the way, I'm 50 hours away. For anybody that's keeping track of this with me, five zero hours. So... Maybe that's what my birthday present's going to be from the universe. Is be like, oh, here you go. Monetize for your birthday. So I'm going to go in, have some more coffee. I have a little bit of a dehydration headache going on because I didn't drink enough water last night. Oh, there goes the geese. Can you see that little wave of darkness right there? That's geese. <laughs> Somebody says silly goose, they're actually pretty smart. No, they they're flocking up and they're flocking down. That is not an official term. Alright, you guys, I am going to go and have coffee. I love you all, and I hope your day is spectacular. I hope it's great. I hope it's good. I hope it's good for you. <laughs> and 
I love you guys. And I thank you so much for hanging out here with me, celebrating the beauty, celebrating life, celebrating the wins and the losses. We're at what? Vlog number 949, 950? It's all coming together. You guys have been here for the long haul. I so appreciate it. I thank you. I love you guys. And the geese love you too. Lots of love from Canada. All right. I love you guys. I will see you again tomorrow. Celebrating the beauty. Ooh. Don't want to make anyone dizzy. Where are we at? Uh, good morning, moon. Okay. The flock has flocked down. And it is time to have some coffee. I hope your day is great. Happy Sunday. I will see you again tomorrow. Mwah. Bye. Oh, that's a very close hand. Bye-bye.